Hey guys, so today we are going to be discussing about one of the most common issues that you can possibly face as um, an iPhone user or a mobile phone technician. So if for example you bought a slightly used iPhone or you mistakenly forgot your own personal iPhone, the iCloud details. So after flashing the, the, the device, you find out that um, you are not able to access your device again due to the iCloud locked issues. Then in this video, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how you can actually fix this problem using the latest iRemover Pro um, version 5.1. Alright, so first of all, you need to connect Wi-Fi to your device to confirm that the device is actually locked to iCloud just like it is on this my device then the next thing that we need to do is to head straight to the iRemover Pro official website and download the iRemover Pro Premium Edition so at the time I recorded this video they released the 5.0 version yes but for now you can also get the 5.1 version which is the latest version and after downloading it, you should be able to find it right inside your download folder. So all you need to do is to make sure that you follow the steps on the screen so that you'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to follow up with the steps and get a successful result. So once you have located the folder inside your download folder, the next thing that you have to do is to turn off your Windows Defender. This is very, very important when you are trying to um, fix a mobile phone with your PC. It is always important to turn off the driver signature so that you'll be able to, um, so that the software will be able to run smoothly. Then after that, you need to run the software as administrator. Yes, the iRemover Pro, you need to launch it as administrator. It's very, very important. So once you launch the iRemover Pro 2, this is how the interface is going to look like. And then you go ahead and connect your device to the PC first. When you connect your device to the PC, the iRemover Pro is going to run a check on your device to check if your device is supported for the bypass. So if your device is supported, you are going to receive a pop-up saying your device is supported. Go ahead and register serial number. So to register the serial number, you head straight to giantunlocks.com, which is a third-party website that will help you to register your serial number to the iRemover Pro database. So when you head straight to the IMEI service, then you will search for iRemover Pro, just type in iRemover Pro. And then once you type in iRemover Pro, then you will scroll down and search for your device, um, the particular one that matches your device. So as you can see, I'm working on um, iPhone 12 Pro. So once you get in here, then the next thing is to copy your iPhone serial number from the, either you copy it from the iRemover Pro or you can directly copy it from your device and then you paste it inside, inside the Enter SN to place order. All right. So once you have entered the serial number correctly, then you can go ahead and place order. And it actually takes only um, a few seconds to process your serial number because this process is 100% um, instant. You don't have to wait for several days for your serial number to be processed. All right. So once your serial number is successfully processed, you should be able to see it from your giant unlocks dashboard that your serial number is being processed successfully. After that, the next thing that you have to do is to head back to your PC and launch the iRemover Pro 
software again so like i told you always make sure that you run the software as administrator so that the the software will be able to function very smoothly without any kind of problem then the next thing is to connect your device again to the pc and make sure that your iphone is also connected to a wi-fi and your pc is also connected to a very fast internet all right so after checking your device now you can be able to see the activate button on your iRemover pro interface and all you need to do is to go ahead and click on the activate during this process you need to be patient with the process because sometimes um, you are going to encounter a lot of error during this process yeah so if you encounter any kind of uh, error then you just need to try it the process from the beginning try it for like several times and everything should work perfectly yeah because i actually spent like 30 minutes to um fix this device so just have to be patient with the process and make sure that your internet is connected and you follow the steps step by step you'll be able to do it fix your personal phone and if you encounter this kind of uh, error like the one you see on the screen you just need to reconnect your device and try again and everything should be working perfectly so let us wait and allow the device to process and then we will continue from there Alright, 
when the process is complete you should receive a pop-up telling you that your device has been successfully activated and you can see that now you can be able to have access to your personal device again all right but the only thing that you have to know about this particular process is that this new update does not support sim so after the iCloud bypass you can only use Wi-Fi you can be able to use sim at this moment so maybe as time goes on you'll be able to release a new update that you can be able to bypass with the sim working perfectly yes so guys that is all for this video today every content on this channel is meant for educational purpose only this channel does not encourage illegal activities so make sure that you try this tutorial only on your personal devices all right so don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and drop a comment and i'll be waiting for you in the comment section stay blessed